everyone a very warm welcome to the CNBC TV 18 special subscription based on demand OTT services like Netflix, Amazon Prime as well as Hotstar are fast displacing traditional television programs for modern Indians. In fact, a report by BCG shows that the Indian OTT market is set to explode and grow from $500 million in 2018 to $5 billion in 2023. To discuss how this all stacks up for Amazon Prime in India, I'm joined by the global content creators for Amazon Prime, Jennifer Salke and James Farrell. Thank you so much for joining us today. If 2017 and 2018 were a year of increasing the kind of number of subscribers on platforms, on online streaming platforms, what's 2019 looking like? Is it going to be a year of content for Amazon in India? I think so. I mean, really, we are so invested in content, global content. I mean, we're over in over 240 countries now. We're looking for global premieres to go alongside great big tentpole shows like Jack Ryan and Homecoming and The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, in addition to the incredible you know, material coming out of India with great shows like Made in Heaven that we're here to celebrate today. So when we talk about the new shows that you're coming up with, you have just announced a flurry of shows. You have Made in Heaven, you have uh, The End, uh, which, which showcases Akshay Kumar. Yes. So what's the kind of run rate? I know you also head content here at Amazon. Run us through what is the plan for India going forward in terms of the run rate? We've had such great success so far. So our first original premiered in 2017, that was Inside Edge. And then this past year we premiered five, and this year it'll probably be about ten. And we don't want to stop there either because we want to get into the regional languages. We want to do bigger and, and greater and more appealing shows for customers. So the end is just one of many that's, that's coming up soon. I do understand that there are seven originals that have come out of India. What is the kind of run rate in terms of the number of originals that you'd like to have uh, as a part of the Indian pie? What's a really interesting fact about Amazon and our sort of management strategy is we're not trying to hit numbers or quotas as far as how many shows we're all about the talent. So we come here and I'm here this week in India to be able to meet creators and spend time with my colleagues with the many talented voices that are coming out of India right now. And for us, it's all about shared passion for content and material. So if we fall in love with you know, 30 new shows, we'll be picking up 30 new shows. If we fall in love with five, we'll be picking up five. So it really depends on the passion and the relationship with talent and the, and the projects themselves. So, the strategy can be very, can pivot very easily, and it, we always stay um, right on target, which is what are the best shows that we can deliver to our customers, and we believe shows that we have a shared passion for will accomplish that. So it's really about the creative process. Is India one of your biggest and the best bets that you have in Asia? What's the kind of potential that you see in the Indian market? I'll let James speak to that also, but I will say I've been at Amazon for one year in this position running the um, global content business, and I have been wanting to come here for so long. And so finally, thank God, I, I made an intention to come here before the year was up because I think India is such an incredible market. There's so much originality and creativity and diversity of storytelling that's coming from the, this market in particular. Um, it's just one of the most exciting, exciting sources of content for us. What do you like to add to that? Yeah, when you, you know, follow up on what Jen said about, you know, we look for great stories, and if there's five or if there's 30, that's how many we're going to make. I think it's a testament to the people in India, the creators, that when Jen made an announcement a couple weeks ago of 20 new shows, seven of them came from India. That means that, you know, the, the people of India, the creators of India, are bringing forward all these great ideas. and. You know, it's, it's a pretty easy decision on our part to support them and to make those shows. You know, last year Netflix announced 40 new titles uh, that will be launched. How is Amazon going to match up with that kind of content that's coming in? What is your strategy uh, with regards to the same? Well, I think we're pretty lucky at Amazon. It's all about the customer. I mean, when Jen and I are talking about should we make this show or this one or, you know, what customers are we trying to hit, we're trying to target with the content, it's, it's not really about, you know, what is somebody else doing. It's is this a good show or are our customers going to like it? And that's where we go. So it's a pretty, it's a, it's a great luxury to have that we're just so customer focused. The company overall is not really focused on our competitors. And sometimes people don't understand that, but what we spend our time thinking about is our customers, which then leads us back to kind of shared passion of, you know, content and creativity. So we want to deliver deliver the very best best shows to our customers. Uh, um, when Amazon Prime launched in uh, end of 2016, uh, Netflix had just launched in India just perhaps uh, a couple of months before Amazon Prime in India. 
and at that point in time, within a year, Amazon Prime had a market share of about 10% in the Indian market. At this point in time, what is the kind of market share that you hold in India or you aspire to have in the Indian market? Well, we don't release any of those numbers, but I will say we're super happy. I mean, the business here is growing as fast or as faster than anywhere else in the world. So, um, you know, we are happy with wherever we are, but we want to get, you know, much bigger and, uh, and reach many more customers. So, Is India your fastest growing market in the global pie? I think one of them. Yeah, it is one of Definitely. them. Definitely. Yeah. And how long before India breaks into your top, say, 10 markets globally? Oh, well, that's the goal. There. I mean, it's there, definitely it's already there. there. Right, yeah. Top tens, for sure. But just creating truly global global content, you know, India is just a huge part of that strategy. So, And how long before it, India really breaks into the top five? Well, we don't break out those numbers, but uh, it has been shared. I've, I've seen in some you know previous earnings calls that uh, India is the fastest growing or one of those fastest growing countries. So it's it, a very it, it won't be focus. long. <laughs> So we can expect that to happen, say, in the next four to five years. Is that a reasonable estimate? Um, I, we don't break out those numbers, but uh, I think that's... Uh, I think we're well on our way. Well on our way, yeah. So have you identified the kind of genres that are working in India? What are people in India watching? What's really grabbing eyeballs in India? We've had a lot of success with very different genres. I mean, our last couple of shows, Four More Shots, Please, and Mirzapur, couldn't be more different, you know, different target audiences, but each of them just had a phenomenal reception. So. I think that's a challenge and an opportunity for us. You know, we, we know we've got these great customers in all different parts of the country, all different you know, uh, economic levels and genders and everything, and we really need to serve all of them. So we've, we've got our work cut out for us, but it's pretty exciting. And when you sit, like I was saying, when you sit with producers, they aren't just going down one lane. They may, ma they may make action movies, but they also make comedies. They have very character-driven things and then big kind of world-building stories. So there's really, again, such diversity within the slates of individual producers, which I find really compelling because I don't think viewers like myself or you or anyone, we don't just watch one genre. You have varied tastes, right? You want to laugh sometimes. You want to invest in characters. You want to go on a thrill ride. You want everything. So for us, it's about not narrowing the focus, but being able to just lean into the very best shows. I'm looking over Jen's shoulder at the Made in Heaven poster and the word original, and I think I think that's something that separates India from a lot of other countries. It's the originality. It's not, let's do a biography of this, this famous person or let's readapt this old literary IP. Zoya and Rima and the rest of the people who made Made in Heaven, it's a totally original idea. They had this idea and they wanted to tell it. And, and it comes from a very personal place yeah. and you can feel that in the, in the content. And I think that's why the content is standing out here. It's, it, it's you true. also have a lot of regional content on, your, uh, on Amazon Prime. So what's the kind of pipeline for regional content on Amazon? Seven languages, I do understand, is what you'll offer in India. Mm -hmm. So going forward, uh, what, what's the kind of growth and potential that you see in the regional part of the pie? Well, we've announced our first Tamil original, Comicstan, just a couple weeks ago. Uh, we've announced some of our first Telugu and Tamil uh, first-run exclusive titles like Gangstars and Telugu. So that's just the first, that's just the beginning. So there's a lot to come. Many conversation this week, conversations this week with creators have touched on that and figuring out ways to you know, diversify within, within the content. When you look at the Indian market, uh, we've seen so many new um, domestic players also entering the whole streaming space. We've got Z5, we've got um, Hotstar, we've got so many new players entering the space as we speak. Does it ever occur to you that India is a very, it's a hyper competitive market in India out there? Does it make things difficult? It does, but we expect that. I mean, it's a hyper competitive environment globally. So why should India be any, any different? There's great talent and content here. So of course, we're going to have to compete for it. And we accept that. That's just, you know, that's just reality. Um, and wherever there's great, you know, content and talent, you're going to be competing to get into business with those people. So that takes us back to our philosophy, which is really about building a curated slate um, of creators that we can work with, you know, show after show, movie after movie. So we build a long-term relationship with those people rather than, you know, trying to, trying to be in business with everybody. On that note, let's slip into a very short break. There's lots more on the other side.